In most languages, Easter is still called Passover. What does the season commemorate for Christians? Let's find out in Matthew 26. When Jesus had finished all these words, he said to his disciples, You know that after two days the Passover is coming, and the Son of Man will be delivered up to be crucified. What were the chief priests and elders plotting? Then the chief priests and elders of the people gathered in the courtyard of Caiaphas the high priest. They were plotting to arrest Jesus by cunning tricks and to kill him. But they agreed that it shouldn't happen during the feast, so there wouldn't be an uproar among the people. What did a woman do with expensive perfume? What was the disciples' criticism? Jesus was in the town of Bethany, eating at the home of Simon, who had leprosy. A woman came in with a bottle of expensive perfume and poured it on Jesus' head. But when the disciples saw this, they became angry and complained. Why such a waste? We could have sold this perfume for a lot of money and given it to the poor. Are some things more important than giving to the poor? But Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? For she's done a beautiful thing to me. For you always have the poor with you, but you'll not always have me. In pouring this ointment on my body, she's done it to prepare me for burial. Truly I say to you, wherever this gospel is proclaimed, in the whole world, what she's done will also be told in memory of her. How could Judas betray Jesus? Are we also capable of betrayal? Then one of the twelve, the man called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? So they weighed out thirty pieces of silver for him, and from that time he started looking for a good opportunity to betray him. Passover evening begins seven days, when only unleavened bread is eaten. Was this a special Passover? Now the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying to him, Where will you that we prepare for you to eat the Passover? And he said, Go into the city to such a man, and say to him, The Master says, My time's at hand. I'll keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. And the disciples did as Jesus had appointed them, and they made ready the Passover. Did Jesus predict that one would betray him? Now when evening came, Jesus was reclining at the table with the twelve, and as they were eating, he said, Truly I say to you that one of you will betray me. Being deeply grieved, they began to say to him, Each one, surely it's not I, Lord. And he answered, He who dipped his hand with me in the bowl is the one who will betray me. What did he say to Judas? The Son of Man will go just as it's written about him. But woe to that man who betrays the Son of Man. It would be better for him if he'd not been born. Then Judas, the one who would betray him, said, Surely you don't mean me, Rabbi. Jesus answered, You've said so. How did Jesus explain the elements of communion? The word is is not explained. Are the elements, as Catholics claim, literally transubstantiated? Are they merely symbolic? Are they a sacrament whereby a divine blessing is imparted through material things? Is it, as Eastern Orthodox Christians humbly describe, a mystery? You decide. As they were eating, Jesus took some bread and blessed it. Then he broke it in pieces and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this and eat it, for this is my body. And he took a cup of wine and gave thanks to God for it. He gave it to them and said, Each of you drink from it, for this is my blood, which confirms the covenant between God and his people. It's poured out as a sacrifice to forgive the sins of many. Will Jesus drink wine in the kingdom? This was six months after the grape harvest, and the only way of preserving grape juice in an era without refrigeration and pasteurization was to let it ferment. But I tell you that I'll not drink of this fruit of the vine from now on until that day 
when I drink it anew with you in my Father's kingdom. Did Jesus ever sing? Then after singing songs of praise, they went to the Mount of Olives. What did Jesus say about his disciples? Jesus said to his disciples, During this very night, all of you will reject me. As the scriptures say, I'll strike down the shepherd, and the sheep will be scattered. But after I'm raised to life, I'll go ahead of you to Galilee. What did Peter and all the disciples say? Peter answered him, Though they all fall away because of you, I'll never fall away. Jesus said to him, Truly I tell you, this very night, before the rooster crows, you'll deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even if I must die with you, I will not deny you. And all the disciples said the same. What did Jesus pray? Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he told the disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. Taking along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, he began to be sorrowful and deeply distressed. Then he said to them, My soul is swallowed up in sorrow to the point of death. Remain here and stay awake with me. Going a little further, he fell face down and prayed, My father, if it's possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Did Jesus pray in a similar manner again? As he came to his disciples and found them asleep, and said to Peter, What? Couldn't you watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that you don't enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away the second time and prayed, O oh my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, your will be done. Did he pray the same thing a third time? Again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy, and he left them again, and went away and prayed a third time, saying the same thing once more. Then he came to the disciples, and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up, let's go. Behold, the one who's betraying me is near. How did Jesus treat his betrayer? While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. With him was a large crowd armed with swords and clubs, sent from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had arranged a signal with them. The one I kiss is the man. Arrest him. Going at once to Jesus, Judas said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. Jesus replied, Do what you came for, friend. Then the men stepped forward, seized Jesus, and arrested him. What happened using a sword? But one of the men with Jesus pulled out his sword and struck the high priest's slave, slashing off his ear. Put away your sword, Jesus told him. Those who use the sword will die by the sword. Don't you realize that I could ask my father for thousands of angels to protect us, and he would send them instantly. But if I did, how would the scriptures be fulfilled that describe what must happen now? Did the disciples flee as Jesus predicted? In that hour, Jesus said to the multitudes, Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to seize me? I sat daily in the temple teaching, and you didn't arrest me. But all this has happened that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples left him and fled. To whom was Jesus first led? Did Peter follow? Those who arrested Jesus led him to Caiaphas, the high priest. The legal experts and the elders had gathered there. Peter followed him from a distance until he came to the high priest's courtyard. He entered that area and sat outside with the officers to see how it would turn out. Was it an honest hearing? The chief priests and the whole council wanted to put Jesus to death, so they tried to find some people who would tell lies about him in court, but they couldn't find any, even though many did come and tell lies. At last, two men came forward and said, this man claimed he could tear down God's temple and build it again in three days. 
what did Jesus tell the high priest? And the high priest stood up and said, Have you no answer to make? What is it that these men testify against you? But Jesus remained silent. And the high priest said to him, I adjure you by the living God. Tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, You've said so, but I tell you from now on, you'll see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming on the clouds of heaven. What was the high priest's reaction? Then the high priest tore his robes and said, He's blasphemed. Why do we still need witnesses? Look, now you've heard the blasphemy. What's your decision? They answered, He deserves death. Then they spit in his face and beat him. Others slapped him and said, Prophesy to us, Messiah, who hit you? Did Peter deny Christ three times? Now Peter sat without in the palace. And a damsel came to him, saying, You also were with Jesus of Galilee. But he denied them all, saying, I don't know what you're saying. And when he was gone out into the porch, another maid saw him and said to them that were there, This fellow was also with Jesus of Nazareth. And again he denied with an oath, I don't know the man. After a while came to him they that stood by and said to Peter, Surely you're also one of them, for your speech betrays you. Then he began to curse and to swear, saying, I don't know the man, and immediately the cock crew. Did Peter remember Jesus' words? And Peter remembered the statement that Jesus had made, Before a rooster crows, you'll deny me three times. And he went out and whipped bitterly. That Passover season was Jesus betrayed and abandoned, Will we too deny him? You decide.